Hi, I'm Mary Director and I'm a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I'm going to show you this new technique I learned using string or thread and also our liquid colors. First, let me give you a little information about myself. Um, I am a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. I have a blog which is createscardsjourney.blogspot.com. My business website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. You can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash creates cards journey. Let's get started. I saw a video um, yesterday on Facebook and I had to try it. And it's just a matter of using string and they used ink. I used our liquid colors and had really good success with it. And each pull does two, two uh, background sheets for you. You can see the different colors. I just, I think it's really unique. So this is just done on regular cardstock. Today I'm going to try it on our watercolor paper. With um, our regular cardstock, it's, I use the whipped cream and it's um, CS-0040. I'm also going to use our whipped cream thread, which is AC-0128, and we just need, oh, not very much, not about like that, maybe about, looks maybe about 15 inches, you don't have to measure it. I used a paper plate, I would recommend um, wearing an apron or a shirt that doesn't matter. I'm going to spray the paper plate first with water. What I found is if I did the watercolors first, when it's sprayed, um, I got color all over. <laughs> so it's kind of a mess. So we're going to put, this one is Catalina Splash. So I'm going to put some Catalina Splash on here. These are our liquid colors. Rich Coral. And I like choosing more than one color. Next one I'm going to use is our Lemon Drop. And you can see the colors are kind of splattering. You know, you don't need a lot of ink. Um, this will definitely do, um, you know, more than just one or two designs. A lot will depend on how much your um, thread picks up in the color. This is Watermelon Fusion. So I have four colors in here. Now I'm going to do, oh, keep uh, baby wipes handy. I got um, liquid color on my fingers here. Let me do a little cleanup real quick. Hey, can't be a crafter without having inky fingers. Okay, so now I'm just going to do this. I'm going to set this in the drops. I found that having a toothpick handy helped me get the threads into the color. And we just want the, the thread to pick up all the color. And I wanted, you know, I wanted a variety of colors in this. And as you can see, it's starting to spread. Where the colors intermix, they're changing colors. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to get two pieces of our color splash paper. This is JM-0076. These are heavier and also made specifically, you know, for the watercolor. We're going to lift up our string. And then just gently set it down. You can overlap, you can swirl, whatever you want to do. Okay, we want to make sure it's down. We're going to put another piece of paper directly on top. Press. And then I'm going to take a notebook, set it on top, put my hand on it. I'm not applying a lot of pressure, but there is pressure there. And now I'm going to gently pull the string out. Okay. 
<laughs> makes noise. Okay, I'm going to dump the string, take off my notebook, and now the reveal. Look at how pretty. Aren't those going to make great backgrounds? Now this, I didn't get as smooth of a uh, of a design because of the um, fact that I used watercolor paper and it's textured, but it's really great either way. So anyway, that was it. It's just a short video to show you what you can achieve with some thread, some liquid color, and a little bit of water. Thanks so much for watching. And again, my business website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. Thanks for watching.